look at Metaphor ReFantasio, the prologue. Uh, if you don't know, this is the next game from the Persona devs. And the full reviews for this game are already out, and it's one of the best-reviewed games this year. Many are calling it a 100% Game of the Year contender. Uh, currently on Metacritic, it's sitting at like a 93 or something like that. So most of the reviews have been 9s and 10s with a little bit of 8 sprinkled in there. So apparently people are just loving this, but we're going to go ahead and jump in and uh, see what this is all about. So here we go. I do know that it's also a very long game. Uh, a completion takes somewhere between about uh, 80 to 100 hours. Also, I'm going to have to move my camera here in a second. So, Actually, I don't want to lose the sound here. So I'm going to, I'm just going to, I'm just going to, I'm just going to wait. I'll wait. I trust this will suffice. God smiles upon the generous. Oh, away with you! Back to your cesspit, beggar! A land grotesque as its people. You dreamt of utopia. You saw the tribes united as one. Oh... That dream died long ago. You should have done the same. Your kingdom will perish alongside you. By my hand. I cannot fathom it. His majesty killed in his own bed. The blooms upon the prince's grave had yet to wilt. Without an heir to wear the crown, what will become of the royal magic? Thus vulnerable, an invasion might undo us. From within or without, the state hangs on a precipice. It may even come to civil war. In dark times, we must stand together. Your eminence! Who could do this? Few could even enter the king's chambers, let alone draw close. And yet... And yet, his majesty's arcane power could deflect near any blade. With all the royal bloodline's magic, who could harm him at all? Shadows stir in the castle, just as they did with the prince. What hellbound soul could end a royal life? Who would dare such atrocity? Huh? Luis. A shame to die with no heirs. The prince was taken too soon. And only a king may wield the royal scepter, the very crux of his vaunted bloodline's magic, which made such a fine deterrent to war. One has to ask, them dead, who shall take the throne? Hmm. Here begins the demo prologue of Metaphor Refantasio. What we have to offer you is but a taste of the story from its beginning. But through it, your experience will mirror the full version. Should you wish it, you may carry over your save data to the full version. We thank you for expressing your curiosity about our tale of fantasy. All right. All right, I gotta move my camera here real quick. I do know that. I gotta scooch over to this side. I'm rarely over on this side. And then I need to do a horizontal flip and we gotta do like this. All right. And let me go ahead and make that adjustment. All right, cool.
Who's there? I can feel you watching me from a place beyond my sight. Whoever you are, please tell me. Does our world pique your interest? Pardon my curiosity, but would you tell me your name? That is to say, tell me who you really are. The one who meets my eyes across a strange threshold. Um, it'll be costly. Ah, a most unusual name. One I've never heard in our world. Which suggests to me you might reside in a world beyond ours. It is a curious thing that in your eyes, my entire world is but the dawn of a story yet untold. Or to put it another way, this is a fantasy. But can it truly be dismissed as something so far removed from you? If indeed you wish to cross to our world for a time, I would first ask that you indulge one question. Is fantasy limited to the confines of imagination? Would you call it a powerless creation? This game's getting too deep. Ah. That's right. A passing daydream. An idle creation of a distracted mind. That must be how you see it. I confess, my own answer still eludes me. But consider, if fantasy is born from hope, a desire to make the world better than it is, then that hope can be made manifest. Thus does change come. And thus is fantasy forged into a new reality. Perhaps the story about to unfold before you will tell us. I'm thoroughly invested now myself. So, let this tale begin. Yeah, Atlas has become one of those studios that doesn't really miss. And something that you're going to see in this game, and again, based on the last couple Persona games, the presentation and style is through the freaking roof. I just wish it was 100% voice acted. Looks like we're in the clear. The capital's just through this desert. Is it true, then? The king is dead. Aye, and the guards are more concerned with the funeral than keeping the road safe. So now the monsters are roaming in broad daylight. No soldiers to stop them. Monsters, huh? Uh-oh. I've certainly been hearing the stories. Uh, to say nothing of the vacant throne. There's a storm coming. Mark my words. That much is certain. <laughs> <laughs> What's the problem? They're bandits! We gotta rub it. Come on, let's see some respect for the militia! Us folk, we're commoners! No crown or church will save us! But Lord Luis will save us one and all. All we ask is a little tribute. You're with us or against us? And if you're against us... Igniter? Ugh. How'd they get rid of those? <laughs> come on, come on! Hey, keep it moving! Hurry it up! That's right! Huh? Look at you! What have we got here? He's an elder! So he is! No horns, no knife ears! Filthy gremlin like you. What you got in the capital? <laughs> oh, what's this? Looks like you've been holding out on us, boy. <laughs> Hold it! <laughs> 
<laughs> Should have listened to us, chum. <laughs> now fall in line! Unless you want to get stumped like us! <sighs> you drew steel. I take it you are prepared to die by it. <laughs> Stand aside! Uh-oh. Are we going to get right into combat? Ah, oh, this place already feels like a death trap. You hear all that stuff about Lord Luis saving us? Hey, you okay? You still got all your limbs attached? Well, at least they didn't figure out our mission. Definitely could have gone worse. Are you all right? Are you all right? No. Been worse. And from the sounds of it, you're about the same. You do know that if anyone finds out who we really are, it's all over, right? The mission's more important than either of our lives. If we screw this up, the cash is about to be back. down. One cute Twi'lek. I'm already loving the, like, world they're building with this. Think we'll make it? Wait, 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 wait. Stop auto. I think we should find a place uh, where we can see the whole area. How do I continue? Is it just A? Alright, basic controls. Use the movement key. Blah, 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 blah. Hold uh, right trigger while moving to dash B to dodge. Uh, some actions you can perform and their corresponding controls are displayed at the bottom of the screen. Okay. And tutorial. Stop. Wait, I'm sensing something close. Don't move. It's a graboid. Watch out. Those look really dangerous, so watch out. Don't think they've noticed us yet. Face sight. Uh, press left trigger to use face sight. This ability lets you see what the fairy lady sees. Now, uh, when you see an enemy uh, you've never confronted before, it will show up as unknown. Very, per, uh, very uh, similar to Persona. Okay. Oh, so this is kind of like a scan mode. Okay. Yikes. I think we're in a little over our heads. Yeah, there's like a lot of creatures hanging around here. Hurry! Wait, what direction do oh, I gotta go this way? They Come found on. us. Get ready, everyone. Yikes! I think we're in a little over our heads. I think we should try and fight one of these little things. Oh, here we go. Oh, this is an action combat system. I thought this was turn-based. Watch your health. Okay, sorry. I didn't. I didn't know what I was doing. Not like this. This isn't happening. Game over. <laughs> Will your tale end here? Yep, we did. Maybe I'm not supposed to be fighting yet. I don't know. Okay. Okay, let's try and not fight, maybe? Uh, also, one other quick thing here. I want to... Let's see here. Controller. Um... I don't want move cursor. I want... Where's invert at? Common event battle dash. I'm not seeing invert camera on here. All right, I, I can probably just deal with it. Okay. Run! 
I am running, I think. Oh, I think they see us. Nope, just keep going. Yeah, it could be that you're not actually supposed to fight any of those creatures because they're just gonna destroy you. Look. Just checking, but you do remember what we're here to do, right? Leave it to me. You say that, but let's go over it one more time. First, we get to the Royal Capital and get you enlisted as a guardsman at the Army's Recruitment Center. This could decide the fate of the whole country. We either do our jobs or we die. And if it's all the same to you, I'd rather stay alive. So we've got to see this mission through. Come on, we don't want the sun to go down on us in the wastes. Let's pull ourselves together and get back on the road. You know what they say. Anxiety breeds the world's cruelest monsters. I mean, fairies say that at least. I can at least cast my usual spell for you. It's the small comforts, right? Sure. Right. It's like music is playing directly in my mind. Music the effect was the first magic this world ever knew, after all. Makes the road a little easier. Okay. Look! Over there! That's a road, isn't it? What a relief. Let's go. Alright, sounds good. Got a sec? Just listening to this music. It's all clear. Seems like there's blue glowy things down there. I don't like this. Oh, that's a herb. Okay. Quick. Oops, sorry. Hey, you found something. Hey, listen. They look pretty tough. Careful now. Uh-oh. Oh, this is bad. Not good. Run for it. We're gonna die. This land of eight tribes and three nations, all blessed by the power of magic. The United Kingdom of Ukronia. The year is 785. Ukronia is shaken to the core by the sudden death of its king. Anxiety breeds dissent among the tribes. Disparities tear them apart, and no mortal mind remembers the heroic tales upon which their land was built. <laughs> by this story of fantasy, May this faded world be painted anew. the place get on with it then drop the dog hang him dead please I've done nothing wrong dying dog don't try to deny it 
You trample the law for the fun of it! Let it be known, for misuse of an igniter, you will hang by the neck until dead! <laughs> There's no way that crowd was going to listen to anything a Paribus said. <sighs> Such a shame. Why you spare some coin? <laughs> Bless you. <laughs> oh, careful! Hurry! Oh. <laughs> <sighs> Don't you have any street smarts? Come on, kid. <laughs> We're not tourists here. We gotta stay focused. Right. You noticed back on the wagon? You might be the only elder here, in the whole city even. So, a Paribus species, that's the ones with the horns then? There's like so many different species. The capital is incredible. Just look at all the different tribes. You or never tribes, see this kind of diversity out in the countryside. Not that it's very balanced. I see more Clamars and Roussants than anyone else. So a Clamar, is that the elf people? Which means a dopey Elda kid's gonna stick out like a sore thumb. Try to keep your head down, okay? And then what are what are you exactly? A small fairy person. Hey, did you hear what they're saying about his majesty? They say it wasn't illness at all. I heard it was foul play. Assassination. Shh. Careful who hears you say that. But it's just like the prince, isn't it? They say he was attacked in the dead of night. A war of succession is coming, I tell you. Sounds like monsters have been prowling the countryside. They're sending the guard out to deal with them. The army's really gone to hell. It's a far cry from when we had Count Luis at the helm, I'll tell you that much. Hard to see how the nation can come back from this. We'd not have to ask if the prince was still alive. <sighs> the king dead. His son stricken. Are there none left to bear the weight of the crown? We've done all in our power. But not even the kingdom's best. The saint could purify this affliction. Over ten years he has languished under this curse. How much longer can his body hold out? No doubt his highness would protest. But uh, since he cannot, we have no choice. For the man who cursed his highness and murdered our king, there can be no mercy. I never thought I would have to ask this of you. But there are so few of us left now. There is no one else to turn to. Will you infiltrate the military to deliver a message to our contact there? This is your mission. For all our sakes, you cannot fail. Hmm, okay. Hey, are you listening? Well, I guess I can't blame you for feeling nostalgic. You and the prince were pretty close. Anyway, getting to the capital was only the beginning. Now comes the real high stakes part. You gotta go get enlisted, so you can meet up with our operative. Remember, nobody here knows who we are. Nobody here knows the prince might still have a claim to the throne. That means if we get busted, that's it. Nobody's gonna save us. Step one. Let's figure out where the recruitment center is. Shouldn't be too hard, considering the need for soldiers. Do you know where we're going? Feel free to admit uh, you're lost and just ask me for advice. Uh, RB to open up the local map. If you're unsure of what to do, try pressing Y and she'll tell you. Okay, cool. Uh, and then up on the D-pad in a safe area is to save your progress. Whatever will I do? That's an interesting button for a quick save. You don't see that uh, much. 
go see. We don't have time for detours right now. If you're okay, we already kind of talked about that. Whatever will I do? All right then. So technically, I need to go. What's like like behind me here? Well, actually, well the blinking red thing is this direction though. Wait, did I do that? Look at that. The new model's out now. I could be out there slinging spells like a master if I had one of those. So jewelry lets you cast spells? I guess that's the big city for you. Everyone and their mother has a magic igniter. So many different types, too. Now I want one. Now I want one for myself. I see that's the hard part with games like this is you don't know what's voiced and what's not voiced. Yeah, until you see the price tag. Can't imagine what it's like having to wave around some shiny stick to use magic. Yeah, that's weird. Me? I can whip out magic anytime I like. And I can even see the magla in the air. Though, I'm not exactly an archmage. You're also like the size of a ruler. I don't know. Wonders never cease. A fairy and an elden child. Are you new to our fair city? Well, I suggest you keep a low profile. Trust me when I say you don't want to catch the eyes of the lords and ladies. So I wonder why the species of our main character is so, like, frowned upon, I guess? Ah, but I'm getting ahead of myself. I run this humble shop. Are you in the market for an igniter? Here's something that might catch a foreigner's eye. This is modeled after the royal scepter and would make the perfect souvenir. How much? How much is it? You're not really going to fall for that, are you? How would you even know what the royal scepter looks like to begin with? You've really never heard of it. Wow. Where do I even start? A symbol and instrument of the Crown's sovereignty. Passed down through generations. If you believe the legends, it houses incredible magic. World-shattering power. More practically, you might call it the world's most potent magic igniter. And in the King's hands, it was enough of a deterrent to stave off invasion. Now he's dead. No living heir either. Tragic, isn't it? Kingly magic is of little use without a king. You picked a bad time to visit, boy. I don't know why you're here, but there's trouble brewing. I'll keep that in mind. A word of caution, then. Your survival is your own responsibility. Well, that was unnecessarily ominous. She has a point, though. We'll need to be careful. Anyway, we don't have time to hang around chatting with the locals. We've got a recruitment office to find. You know, one thing that Atlas is so incredibly good at is... What's there? Um, like the art of these games. Oh. Give it a food, I say. Who else can it be? Leave it out, mate. Hmm. I was hoping that we'd uh, we'd blend in with the crowd and uh, no one would uh, notice that you're an elder. But people here have uh, sharper eyes than I thought. We don't want to draw attention. 
but hiding your tribe is only going to make it worse. People may insult you, but do your best to stand tall. All right. Easier said than done, I'm sure, but it's for the sake of the mission. Ugh. What are you playing at? Hmm. I'm out of ideas. Dear me. That must be the recruitment center. I'll let you take it from here. It should be pretty straightforward. Oh, and if they start asking questions, just be as honest as you can. Lying will only make us more suspicious. So long as you don't compromise the mission, you're fine. Good luck in there. Knock them dead. Okay, you got this. I'm definitely curious as to what the character's like background is to where they would be accepted for this kind of mission. Because we seem like we're like kind of a rookie. <laughs> a blue blood, are you? The army's no place for velvet swaddled lordlings. Why are you here? Perhaps your noble family collapsed under its own weight. Is that it? Lineage seems a strange measure for a soldier's word. I'm looking to enlist. Is that enough for you or not? An uppity one, aren't you? Fine, Lordling. Welcome to the Guard. Where it'll be your privilege to die screaming and bloody in service of your country. But mark my words, war will turn your arrogance to piss. When your corpse is plucked from the mud, do try to look patriotic. Rousing words, Captain. You think threats will buy loyalty? No wonder nobody respects the guard anymore. But I'm here now, so perhaps the kingdom isn't a lost cause. Insolent pup! You will learn your place. Don't. The healers have enough on their plates already. <sighs> be gone, and be thankful you're still in one piece. All right, next. Hurry it up. Huh, an elder. I thought your kind was long gone. Age 18. An orphan, too. The army can always use more of those. So, what brings you to enlist? I'm just so bored. I want to fight for real change. Lofty words for a gutter rat with an empty coin purse, no? So what can you bring to our beloved core? Any skills to speak of? I'm small, but quick. Yes, I could see that. Always the cowards who run the fastest, eh? Right, last order of business. Make your mark or sign your name if you're actually literate. Who's that? Wait. Presented the name of the stories. Wait, what was the name we did before? Crap. There's two names? I thought the first name was our character. Uh. Okay. Yeah, I did costly before because I thought that was going to be my character name, but. I don't, I don't know now. You know your letters, do you? We'll get some use out of you yet. All right, lad. Welcome to the guard. Yes! I'm sure you heard about the monster sighting, so stay sharp out there. We're short-handed as it is, so be a good lad and try not to get killed on your first deployment. You can pick up your kit at reception. Standard issue guardsman armor and igniter. Kingdom property. So if you break it, it's coming out of your commission. On your way now. Up to. Next. But I don't have a commission yet. 
What if I break something? Huh. What a long line. Guess we got no choice but to wait. <sighs> That's all right. I'm just gonna sneak by here. Uh huh. Wait, you're cutting the line too? Everyone will get their igniters. Uh, no one ever follows directions. Fine, I'll just... Oh, there's this guy. The young nobleman. You're enlisting as well? The line starts behind me, so if... Yeah. Um, so are you really a noble? Take it you overheard my interview. Yes, guilty as charged. I am a noble, but just a countryside son of a lord. My family is of no real consequence. Well. Well, let's just say I have my own circumstances. I'm volunteering to fight in order to protect the kingdom. Foolish or not. I heard they get sightings. What? Of those huge monsters? You think that's why we're low on soldiers? Wish they'd have told us that. What do they call them? Something like, um... Next! Another Clamar. Wait. No. You don't look like the others. Surely not. An elder? It's the first of your kind I've seen. Move it. There's a priority around here. Smack this guy. We're arming squires and children with igniters now. Waste of good gear. Spare off in my hands. Give it here. Brute force and crude insults. The world is yours for the taking. Care to say that again, boy? We all have our reasons to enlist. Now get back in line. Oh, another high and mighty Clamar, is it? You think your pretty words will measure up to pure Roussant strength? Oh, forget the tribes. This is a matter of pride. Now, you owe us both an apology. Come on, no fighting in the ranks. <sighs> Sorry for making a scene. You all right? I was terrified. Thanks. You didn't have to do that. Just felt like stepping in. Don't worry about it. Well, see you around. Try not to die out there. Don't make my job any harder, please. Here, you igniter. Okay. These days, most come with their own magma crystals. So with practice, anyone can use magic. To an extent, anyway. It's not the sort of thing you can master in a day. For now, newbies like you best focus on surviving. <sighs> oh, crap. They said the thing around his neck is apparently a magic igniter. Uh, the captain I spoke with earlier had one, too. They must take on uh, many different forms. Hmm. And take this, too. Protect it with your life. The map. Wow, that's a real map. It's dangerous to even chart the wilds, but this is full of details. Only the military could pull this together. Listen up, striplings. My name is Captain Klinger. And as of this moment, you miserable lot are under my command. Klinger, and I immediately think of M.A.S.H. I'm sure you've all heard about our forces being tied up with the funeral proceedings for His Majesty. But if you think you're on cushy security detail, think again. First, you will be deployed to a fortress at the northern border, where you will be trained into true guards. Our veterans there will teach you the one thing you need to master if you're to survive. Hey. Perfect. That's exactly where our contacts hold up. 
Enjoy tonight's sleep, because it's the last full night's rest you'll get. Dismissed! Bum -ba -dum. So this game does day, and this game does day-night cycles. Look at all the other recruits. They really are desperate for new blood. Oh, right. I know you don't know what our contact looks like yet, but he'll know you by your sword. He'll also know right away why we've come. And don't worry, I'll recognize him. Well, the charming captain is probably right. We should get some rest before tomorrow. Hey, you awake? No, I'm trying to sleep. Leave me alone. Is it morning already? Does it look like morning? Look, I just have a lot on my mind. Can't seem to fall asleep. I'd heard about what it was like in the capital, but still, when you hear and see all this prejudice out in the open, it's a lot. You okay? It never gets easier. Macro or who that dog says you're a bug, bugs off. That's a sentient bug. What are you talking about? Yeah, I could tell. Try to put it behind you, okay? Some people are even saying it's the lesser tribe's fault that the monsters are showing up at all. These are the same kind of people who burned down your village, remember? I'd rather not think about it. Oh, you're right. Sorry. I'll drop it. The prince was kind to take you in. He cared more about who you were than what you were. I can see why you'd want to repay him. Oh, speaking of, he's the one who gave you that book, right? Can I see it? <laughs> what book? The one that's right there. Sure, I guess. I gotta say, I've been curious. Thanks. It's what you call a fantasy story, right? So it's a fantasy world made up by the author. The prince loved those kinds of stories. Okay, let's see. It says the young traveler was amazed by the world he saw. In this world, there is only one tribe. All people accept each other, and no soul is born into discrimination. Wow. So not even any fairies? I guess less differences means less to argue over. In such a world, there is no need for sorcery. A megapolis is built through learning and labor. Towers of glass that reach the heavens. Safe nights with no dark shadows. Busy streets well traveled. And in the laws of these emotionally satisfied people, it reads, all lives are equal. Wow. I see. No magic. No tribal conflict. And equality for all? It really does sound like a fantasy. But it's strange to feel envious of a fictional world. Hey, are you asleep already? You know how hard it is for me to turn these pages on my own? Ugh. <sighs> well. Guess I'll just read more later. Good night. You could turn those pages. They're not that heavy. Um, yeah. Shouldn't you be resting? I'm fine. In fact, I'm glad we have this chance to talk. I've been reading, and I hope that someday we can make our kingdom like the place in this book. You said it was some kind of fantasy novel, didn't you? Mm. Our lives are decided at birth, by tribal purity, or by the differences that make us who we are. I don't want that to be the world we live in. The Elder here are a perfect example. If you'd not sheltered me, I would never have survived. 
And yet, they burned your home down. It's tragic, and no one should have to suffer so. Someone needs to fix... <coughs> you okay? <coughs> Don't push yourself so hard. Reality is much too cruel. I know that. But I'll fight it. I'll fight to the end. I'm a prince. But I need to be a hero. One worthy of the throne. A hero? One who can lead. A beacon who will pierce the darkness when all seems lost. My father taught me that. In his stories, the kingdom was full of legendary heroes. So I can't give up. In my ideal world, people can believe in their future. Their birth doesn't matter. Not that I expect it will be easy. I believe in you. <laughs> Familiar words. When I'm down, when I struggle, you're always there to help me through it. <sighs> huh? Let's do it. You'll be a hero. Trust me. So this prince dies at some point, right? Apparently he's got a condition. Yeah. I won't give up either. Trust me. How come nobody has made uh, just a completely interactive anime? I mean, that's basically what we're doing right now. But I, I know it's going to open up later on. I'm sure we're just in the intro here. It's like a four-hour intro. I'm just guessing. I guess like Detroit Until Become Human. Until at the northern border fort, one day remains. Let's see. So what is... Okay, you can view information about your surroundings and the world map. Use the movement keys to highlight the location. Okay. This place here. The northern border fort. Uh, hold on. The fort camp. Uh, hold on. Uh, hold on. Uh, hold on. Uh, hold on. Chat. This place here. Uh, hold on. Uh, hold on. This place. Uh, hold on. Let's see. Let's see. This place here. Let's see. Let's see here. Was the plan to camp out here tonight? This no. place. Hey, don't forget. This is where our contact should be. All right. Okay, then. Let's roll. The carriage transporting the new recruits arrives at its destination. The Northern Border Fort. The towering fortress was built during the Annex War in the mountains at the edge of the territory. Even now, soldiers are sent there for its strategic importance to the royal capital and to combat the rising waves of monsters. Fresh-faced soldiers disembark from their coaches at the foot of a steep ascent to the fort, the first of many uphill battles. What are, what are we holding on for, JT? Oh, finally. Can hardly feel my legs. 
Listen well, you lackwits. The battlefield is no place to sit on your asses, and the border front is always a battlefield. The call to arms could sound at any time. Stand to, curs. You have the honor to serve at the command of Captain Klinger, war hero, tactician, master of arms. When I earn rank in the trenches, forged in the blood of my comrades. Spare us this drivel. Say, friend, I'm curious. What is it about that book that's captivated you so? It's interesting. It tells the tale of a world with no magla arts. A peaceful one. A world with no magla arts would be better, would it? I admit, I'm intrigued. So it's describing a better world. A utopia, perhaps. I'm something of a reader myself, but that's not like any book I've read. You know, when the late king took the throne, he was quite the idealist himself. He made grand claims about unifying the people under his rule. Never managed to do it in the end, of course. Reform takes more than high-minded, eloquent speeches. Maybe he was too blind to see that himself. Listen to you. A babe with his first sword thinking he knows better than a king. Keep your mouth shut. No one cares what you think. Ugh, nobody asked you. Something to say? Go on. I'm listening. Apologize f hmm. Like, I don't know if this game has, like, multiple endings or decision dialogue or any of that stuff. So, I kind of need to decide how I'm going to play this character. Um, I guess we'll go diplomatic. I apologize for him. See? Take a cue from your friend in the lesser tribe. Well, Clamar, I'll let it go this time. But only because I like your friend. Next time, keep your complaining to yourself. That's the last thing I need. Though I suppose I deserved it in part, speaking ill of the dead and all. My mouth tends to get ahead of my thoughts sometimes. Although, I'm glad a bad habit seems to have drawn us together. Oh, never got round to an introduction. I'm Stroll. Leon Stroll, son of the Count of Harlia. And you are? I can't tell you. <laughs> That's my name. I have that right? It's got a certain weight to it. For what it's worth, my title doesn't mean much. Here and now, we're peers and equals. By the skin of my teeth! Now, oh, um, where was I? Right, as for you, fresh meat. Someone, help! Is that a, a soldier? Hey, speak to me, man. What happened? Listen. Stay on guard. Is... Is too... <sighs> Not He's one dead. of mine. Must be one of the fort's guard. Those damn vultures across the border. They must have heard about the king's death. Uh, anyway, to the fort. Double time. I'll stay behind to uh, see to the poor bastard's wounds. You want us to go on ahead? Alone? Shouldn't we at least send a team back to ask for... I knew fear would take you at the first step. You want to turn tail? Or are you a traitor to the cause? The guard has no place for cowards. You are part of His Majesty's Royal Army. Swallow your fear. Fight with pride. And we'll all have medals this time tomorrow! He's right. We're warriors. Up there is our first chance of glory and riches. Damned if I'm gonna waste it. Let's go. Let's go. Damn it. Well, I suppose this is what we signed up for. Onward to the fort then. Uh huh. Hey, I've got a bad feeling about this. It's hard to explain, but it's like there's a stench in the air. 
and it's getting stronger. She's got armor on now? <laughs> She's got like a Valkyrie helmet. Hey, did something happen? Wait, is that a fairy? Did you catch it yourself? I don't see any fairy. What are you talking about? She's with me. Yes, and I have a name, by the way. It's Gallica. So you travel together? You've stayed well hidden for quite a while. Well, I didn't want anyone making a fuss. But we've got bigger problems right now. I can't shake this feeling. We gotta be careful. Agreed. I'll follow orders, but I'm not about to let this armchair general send me to my death. Let's take a moment, then head in once we're prepared. I assume you know how to use an igniter properly? I'm not so sure. He's never used one before. I mean, he's a commoner, so not much chance to. Fair enough. Well, just stay behind me and you'll be all right. I swear I won't let you die. I'm with you. All right, new ally, Stroud, I think his name was. Oh, this is bad. I didn't think you'd actually have to fight anyone. I just hope our contact in the fort's okay. Let's keep our guard up and hope we find out. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, this is an unexpected turn of events, but uh, don't lose sight of the mission, okay? Here we go. All right, be careful. Oh crap! I gotta stop the auto scrolling. Uh, you're running with such purpose. Uh, what were you talking about? You said something about your ally. Actually. Oh no, it's nothing. We we're just worried about the, the soldiers inside. I see. Okay. What was that? We have items and skills. What do skills look like? This is... A big door. Oh, the fairy has like a little tiny sword too. Oh. Damn it. This is horrific. Somebody dead. How? Well, I hope you're safe. Hurry. There's not no time to waste. <sighs> Hold on, we gotta loot all the bodies first. Anyway, we need the loot. None of them are breathing. Damn, we're too late. This is bad. Holy, okay. We're fighting an egg with an arrow through it. What? What's the deal with this one? It feels, uh, or yeah, it feels similar to that monster from earlier, but it's smaller. Is that a human too? Wait, if it's a human, do we even stand a chance? What do you think? Besides, our only hope uh, right now is to join forces and strike as one. I agree. Huh. All right, let's do this. Got it. Take care of it, please. Understand the two of us working as one. I'll trust your judgment on the timing of the attack. Squad battles. Press Y to engage in squad battles alongside your allies. You can press Y anytime, but if you use X attacks to stun enemies first, you'll start battle with an advantage. 
Okay, Persona 5 has something similar to that. Stay on the offense by continually attacking with X to deplete the enemy's break gauge uh, that appears next to them, eventually stunning them. Things will be fine. Let's do this. I fight for my own justice. Still, don't let your guard down. In squad battles, press X to attack with your equipped weapon or Y to use a skill. So wait, in this game you can switch between action combat and turn-based? Is that what I'm seeing here? Performing an actual expend one turn icon, which is at the top of the screen. Okay. Oh, that's slick. All power, melee, pass, guard. Yeah, like the the presentation in Persona 5 was really good. This presentation looks even better. I will let's go. Okay, so we can use the equipped igniter to deal weak damage. Okay. Fire! The power of fire! Oh wait, so does he do what I do? Oh, please! Wow. A tough one. Burn to us. We got it. All right. Victory is ours. That'll do it. All right. We pulled it. We pulled through somehow. Yeah, the presentation of this is incredible. The music is not as good as Persona 5. We're alive, that's all I could ask for. Let's press forward for a while. Um. But, you know, Persona 5 also has a different theme. It's more like current day, new age. This is more medieval. And so having the Persona battle music or that style of battle music, I don't think would fit in this game, you know? It would be like, you know, you jump into battle in this game and all of a sudden you hear like this popping off, you know? Because that's what, that's what Persona 5 is, right? Wait. Hold on. Be careful. There's another one. If it spots us, uh, it could get nasty. Hey! But we have the element of surprise. Uh, we could catch it off guard. Yeah. Sneak attack on enemies. If you manage to successfully attack an enemy without being seen, using X is a chance. Okay. So again, th this is very similar to Persona 5. Okay. Yeah. Is there a sneak in this? Because Persona 5 has like a sneak. Wait, what did I just say? Oh, squad. Huh? All right. Quick, let's that. finish them. Okay. This could be all we've got. So that's interesting. If I don't want to put it into turn-based mode, I don't think I have to. When engaging in a squad battle against a stunned enemy, one party member will perform in. Uh, Advantage initial attack. Okay. The power of not done yet. We'll have to do a fight without going into turn-based mode, well, just so we can see what that looks that like. Easy, eh? Not bad. Hey, level two. I'll strive for greater heights. Oh, so I get to choose... Oh, so my ST strength increased? I wonder if that's random on what you get for your, uh, your level. Oh, I get to choose. Okay, cool. So we have strength... 
Uh, raises magical attack. I wonder if that's... Mm, lowers damage sustained from enemies. Uh, raises hit evasion. Um, and then there's a luck skill. So right now my highest is actually evasion. My lowest is lowers damage sustained from enemies. I guess let's up our guard. That'll do it. Nice. I bet we'll find a use for that. Oh, we can smash barrels. Okay. I hear something barking. Look. Watch out. We've been spotted. So yeah, what happens if I don't do that? Okay. Okay, I see. I see. So the the core of combat is turn based. But it's all about getting bonus strikes in before the turn base actually happens. So there, I stunned him, but I let him get unstunned, and then he attacked me, so now he has advantage. Okay. I won't hold back! Burn! <sighs> That. Whew. that should do it. Ow. He's still breathing, but he's badly wounded. <sighs> An elder, don't bloody touch me. I'm in a bad enough spot without you making it worse. That monster showing up was your fault, wasn't it? Bad luck follows you people. Ah, of course. This is how it ends. Damn it. Damn it to bloody hell. <clears throat> this is what I say to you. Run. You're so young. A fresh recruit? Get away from here now. That thing's up ahead no. there. There's still more soldiers left alive, right? We can't just run away. Okay. We'll figure out. We'll figure out what's going on up here. Hey. Nice. I bet we'll find a use for that. Oh, did I miss it down here? Was there a door or something? Everything's pretty standard. Oh, there was a door here. I was just going around in circles. Hold on. You. You two, you're perhaps you're searching for someone? I can't answer that. That's classified. <sighs> Yet you cannot deny it either. Why hide this from me? I trust you have a, a good reason. Well, to tell you the truth, what? That cry. Is that a human from er, the human from earlier? Was that? It's not like it came from the tower up there. Hurry. We'll handle our personal matters later. Let's hurry. There's another one of those egg-looking guys right there. We have the edge. I'm tossed, uh, and we'll win this. this. Let's go. Fire! Still up? The power of fire! I wonder if this game is going to do weaknesses like Persona. They chose the wrong opponent. Because, yeah, you, eventually you'll get, like, fire, ice, poison, you know, whatever. And certain enemies will be, like, weak to one versus the other. Yeah, I, just, I wonder if this game is going to do that. That'll do it. I heard a dog or something. Oh, is it below me? Huh. 
is just up ahead. Might I have a moment? Huh? If I'm honest, I have my doubts there could be any survivors facing that monster together. Uh, may not save, uh, you know, anyone at this point. But I'm going to do it anyway. It's the noble thing to do. Um. Isn't that just throwing your life away? I... Because if there's a chance there's even one survivor, then uh, I'll not be the noble who runs away. Not this time. I could never live with myself. This time? Hey. And you? Uh, you plan to forge ahead despite the risk? I take it you uh, refuse to die until you found whoever you're searching for? As no, no turning back. Leave it to me. I see. I'm All right. Out. Let's go. What do you think? This feeling, I knew it. The human from earlier is up there. Let's go. Yep. Try not to do anything rash. Yikes. Damn. Such tremendous power. Also, how, what happened to the humans that they turned into that? It's horrible. I can't believe what I'm seeing. We can't let it get away with this. We have to hold it off somehow. Damned humans. It was all because of them. We'll just have to make it work. The mission depends on survival. Our survival. All right, here we go. Boss time. I won't hold back. Burn. This thing has Royal a lot monster. of HP. You're mine. Twenty nine. What's going on? It didn't even flinch. Damn it all. I'm not going down like this. Well, the power of fire. I don't think we can kill this thing. Please. Watch out! You're barely holding it together! Uh, how is it this strong? What more can I do? The prince is my best friend. I need to save him. I can't die in a place like this. And yet... I'll distract it. You two, run! But... Above all else, I am a noble. And a noble defends his people. No matter the cost, farewell. If you would repay me, then live. You gotta heal up quick. Please, this is it. What? No! Please say something. Stroll. Don't be a fool. Just run for it. Oh, fate saddled child. Oh, anguished traveler. Uh. <laughs> thy fate is crown twined, thy soul bound for the throne. A future yet unknown dawns in this moment. <laughs> thy path may fork, but only one may be chosen. Confront the threat before thee, or die here in obscurity. Now choose. I choose. So be it. Heroism lies in the soul that stands firm against its fears. Power awaits thy command. 
The time is come to awaken the hero within. Persona! Engrave thy very heart. <laughs> Yikes. Okay. Now we're a mech. We summoned the Gundam. <gasps> what the heck is going on? Anyway, we've got to find a way to fight back. Not a problem. I'm a mech now. It's cool. We got this. Wind. All right. That did the trick. Wait, I'm not a mech anymore. Attacking weak points. Certain enemies are weak to certain things. Okay, I was just talking about this earlier. <laughs> All right. Um, okay. Hitting an opponent's weak or scoring a critical hit against them. Uh, okay. Looks like it mainly attacks with the head wings and blade feet. Wait, can we I can do this? Uh, looks like we can't brute force through this one. Okay. This is very similar to Persona. Okay. Got it. So we have wing, leg. Now Persona didn't have subsystem targeting. Plot. Attack the wing or leg. Let's go for the wing. Now what does assist do, I wonder? Wish we knew their affinities. Only one way to find out. Wait, arch Let's stay calm. archetype? I don't know their weakness. Guess we'll just try what we've got. We need to figure out their affinities first. Okay. Seeker! So this is like Persona calling in a Persona. Scour! That's it! Stay on The freedom it. of a wanderer. I'm assuming melee isn't gonna do nothing against this guy. Still here? Oh, actually, no, I did, because I'm stronger now. Okay. <laughs> Persona! Wind! Alright, that was that! We've it's got to weak. the other spots, too. Let's go for the leg. Let's go! Persona! Is he healing? Wait, what? It's healing? It's eating its own fruit to heal? We can't kill it fast enough! It's just gonna fix itself up no matter what we do! Kick! I can't believe it's eating from its own body! Can you knock those out, Papa? Alright, let's heal up. All right, we're back to full. Can we knock off the apples? Yeah, 100%. Nice dodge. Not like they could get you with that. If we don't take out those apple things, I think we'll regret it. Stop yelling at me. I know no. what I'm doing. Maybe 
if there's something I can do. Hey, can you let me handle this? Sure. Have her knock down the apples? Yeah. Understood. Leave it to me. Just don't die out there. Now it can't heal itself anymore. Don't waste your chance. Get in there. Hey, All right, Persona. Out. Wind. She'd be like, I'm gonna just do it anyway. Scour! Come on! I will fight with pride. Come forth, royal soul! Wind! We almost got him. We're getting there. By this power. Scour. It's still up. One more good hit with our persona and that uh take care of it. Come forth, royal soul. Wind. Goodbye. We got an apple. Okay. Wait, what's our rank versus our... Oh, that's our persona rank. Because you're leveling up your personas. Not bad at all. Uh, let's do one into strength and uh, one more into EN, which is... Oh, actually, no, I got three points. Uh, that, that's actually fine. Let's do that. True power is born of the heart. A wish from which thy strength is drawn. Yet fear and anxiety always trail in such a wish's wake. Since time immemorial, those we call heroes have earned the title through this order. They pursued their wishes and boldly walked a path of virtue. What thou hast awakened is the true spirit of a hero. The power that lies dormant in all of us. The power to reforge the fear of the unknown into curiosity. If thou wouldst change the world by thine own hand, Take this newfound power and venture forth. Thy journey shall reveal thy soul's mission. What was that voice? And you! What was that power you used? You had a metal heart, and your whole body was... It was crazy! Uh, uh, You're not dead. Look, that stroll guy is still alive. I'll be damned. Someone actually survived. That voice. Grius! Oh, thank goodness, you're alive! Gallica, you made it. He's our man on the inside. The one I'm delivering the message to. He's badly hurt. You, boy, lend me your shoulder. We'll need to carry him. The smell of blood will draw out the beasts. Let's not hang about. The lad's out cold, but he'll live. We should be fine if we take a moment's rest here. Oh, you're a sight for sore eyes, Grius. Just wish it were under better circumstances. We're both alive, and you can't ask for much better in these parts. Sorry I couldn't join you in the fray. So, this is our newcomer, eh? How'd this boy manage to command power like that? It's like nothing I've ever seen. Do you know anything about it? I might. For now, the mission comes first. Ah, uh, right. I'd better just get straight to the message. Grius, you have a new mission. Avenge the king. And kill Luis Guiaburn. Well, good. 
It's about damn time. No scheming nobles haven't said so publicly, but every soldier knows it was nothing natural that killed the king. Damn that, Luis. Couldn't stop at one royal, could he? Wait, there's more. The prince is getting worse. We're running out of time. Here, look. I brought a treasure from the village. They called it a farsight mirror. You need to see the prince's condition for yourself. It's quite the advice. His Highness won't last much longer. Those thorns are thick enough to claim him. Louise cast the curse. So killing him is the only way to lift it. If we wait any longer, they're just gonna crown a new king. You have to kill him? Suppose we'd better start at the beginning. Flashback, maybe. About 15 years ago, a child enlisted in the army. But it wasn't his age that had people talking. It was his ruthless military genius. Hero to some, monster to others. Luis Guillermo, a prodigal tactician and a master of magla arts. Some said it was only a matter of time before he made general. The youngest the nations had. Until he attacked the prince. That night, when the prince's quarters were breached, it was no ordinary mage who cast that fatal curse. It was Luis Guillaburn himself. But the son's death wasn't enough for him. Now he's got the father's blood on his hands. And if that king-slaying fiend ends up on the throne, we're all doomed. But when we were exploring the royal capital, there were a lot more Luis supporters than I expected. How can they still trust him after all that? Luis is cunning. He left no evidence. Accuse him as you will, or the allegations wouldn't stick. All they could do was send him as far away as possible. A post in the middle of nowhere. Plenty of soldiers never believed the charges in the first place. When they look at him, they see a capable veteran unjustly made into the noble scapegoat. Most think the Royal Army was at its best when he was in charge. And in truth, it's hard to deny. Without him, we'd never have crushed the rebel uprising so quickly. Damn the man. But he's earned his titles. He's mastered the blade, magic, and he's clearly intelligent. To the masses who want change, he seems the savior they need. If even you're that worried about him, then this isn't going to be easy. That's a hell of a mission. And I want in. So that's your game, eh? Pretend to sleep, eavesdrop on the plan. You're a fool to give yourself away. If you want my blood, then let your blade strike true. I'm not going to run. Not from you, and not from a chance to do what's right. Look, Grius, he saved our lives back there. And it sounds like we could use the help. Seems like kind of a waste to kill him. Especially if he's volunteering. <sighs> then answer me this. The boy's all but a stranger to you. Yet you risk your life to save him. Why? I would live, fight, and die a noble, sir. To have done otherwise would betray my title, to say nothing of my heart. Uh, I'm losing my edge. Make me regret this, and I will slay you where you stand. You'll let him help us? Right then. My life and sword are yours. As far as the rest of the world's concerned, you perished in that castle. You'll find the job ahead will be easier for a dead man. So, we just gotta get you a persona, and then we're gonna be good. Your lives are kept only by the blades in your hands. And you'll raise them at my command. I can't be the only one that's got a persona, alright? Luis will also be at the royal funeral. If we're not back to the capital by then, we lose our chance at his head. But no main roads. That'll mean checkpoints and questions. We're bound for a different route. We'll cut through the abandoned mine up ahead to save us going the long way round. For tonight, see to your wounds. We'll leave at first light. 
I'm counting on you. Feels like the mission is finally starting. Let's set up our camp then. Cool. Now, we should finally be able to get some rest. This your first deployment, boy. Thank your lucky stars you survived a brush with a human. What the hell was that? It was like no beast I've ever seen. No one truly knows. They're protected by Magla, so even the sharpest steel does little good against them. They're no simple beast. All we do know is with every passing year, more of their kind tear travelers apart. That was why I was first sent undercover here, investigating. And? Did you learn anything? Simmer down, boy. There wasn't a damn thing to be found on those monsters. Ah. <sighs> well, the moon's still low. If you've any other questions, now's the time. I can't think of anything. Come on, there's gotta be something. Whatever's on your mind. Kingslayer or no, Luis has a lot of public favor behind him. To the people, he's the only man with the wit and war power to bring down humans. The military seems powerless to stop them, so he plays savior. The man's practically a monster himself. By your age, he was not only a master tactician, but damn near an archmage besides. And the three of us alone are supposed to stop him? We'll just have to blend in with the crowd at the funeral. I won't abide him surviving the ceremony. He will die by my hand. <sighs> oh. A fire should keep the really dangerous stuff away, I hope. Alright, cool. So what do you... Oh, rest up. Okay. Ugh. Never in all my life have I witnessed anything like that. Tell me, is it some sort of magic? No, I suppose it uh, couldn't be. Not with the uh, igniters we were supplied with. At least yours was broken. <sighs> Incredible, if only... I had that kind of power, you know, back then. Apologies, I'm just thinking out loud. Uh, today has been a trying day for both of us, so let's get some rest. Well... Yeah, let's get some rest. Can't sleep? Guess I'm not surprised after what we just went through. Still, you've got to keep yourself rested to be at your best. I know, I will. I wanted to tell you though, when the human attacked, I heard a strange voice. It told me my duty would be to guide you. What do you think it meant? I mean, I haven't exactly been much of a guide so far. All I told you was that we had to deliver our message, and that almost got you killed. I never expected it would be this dangerous, and it feels kind of like it's my fault. She just wants to read from the book. It's not your fault. You say that, but look... I can't fight with you, but as long as you're up against all this scary stuff, I'll try to help however I can. You've got something special, you know. I don't know what it is just yet, but I believe in you. I mean, she said earlier that she had like all kinds of magic, so just use your magic. Oh, hey, uh, you know what insomnia is good for? Catching up on reading. No. If only our lives were anything like the world in your novel. It's just war after war here, with magla arts fueling the flames, but it's a nice fantasy. Enjoy it while you can. 
Good night. Well, hello. <laughs> nice to meet you. I've been waiting. Is this the Velvet Room? And now you've acquired a most interesting power. You truly are an intriguing one. Fascinating. In the moments where your heart is most gripped by the book, I can reach out to you. My name is Moore, and I am the humble author of the novel you've been reading. You stand now in my study. Quite something, isn't it? A hall of wisdom, purpose built for the research of certain powers. I call it academia. Alas, it's as much a prison as it is a library. His most merciful majesty saw fit to lock me in this place. It has me a bit addled, honestly. I no longer remember where in the kingdom my study actually lies. I never imagined my voice would reach beyond these walls. Until you appeared. And now, by whatever strange forces are afoot, I can speak directly to your mind. So, what would you say to an alliance? No, I'm guessing, uh, and again, this game is so similar to Persona. That's why I said the word Velvet Room. And the music kicks in. In Persona, you are taken to a place called the Velvet Room, where you meet a mentor, essentially, uh, along with a couple of other, we'll call them guardians, and they help you, like, progress your powers. I'm assuming that's what's happening here. What kind of alliance? There must be more you wish to know. For instance, the nature of this fascinating power you've awakened to. I believe you have found a way to wield true magic. You need no petty conduit of mortal make. You can even change your appearance using the raw magla within. It is above all a mystic, long-hidden art. Now the stuff of legend. What I have come to call archetypes. Archetypes? A spirit of heroic virtue. A transformative power that manifests only in those who embody the heroes and kings of old in some core aspect. Heroes of antiquity are often depicted as near mythic figures with forms transcending the mortal. These accounts are no mere allegory, but truth. However, none of my records describe anyone wielding such power as freely as you. Perhaps you are meant for not just proficiency, but mastery. In their truest form, archetypes represent the power of a true hero. One who can drive away calamity and evil in this world, no matter its form. Indulge me this request, and I believe my dream may yet be possible. Together, we can restore the kingdom's ideals. I shall gladly provide you knowledge and assistance to master your newfound power. So what say you? Will you take my hand in friendship? Okay. He's a the bargain is struck then. He's a, he's a big person. The scholar in search of utopia, more. Within him dwells the virtue of the seeker. Nurture thy bond with him, and a new power yet slumbering within thee may awaken. Now let's see what manner of story you'll weave. New bond, rank one. Okay. Uh, the party can now study the seeker once unlocked. Allows the party to change between archetypes once unlocked. Okay. Well, this is a whole a whole thing here. OK. 
Okay. More is the first of your followers. People that support your quest as steadfast allies. Okay. Strengthen your bonds with your followers, which will lead to unlocking various abilities. Okay. We'll meet again, I'm sure. Here's to our joined path and the thrills that yet lie ahead. The royal funeral draws ever closer. Five days remain. Already then? From here on, we travel in secret. If we are to get back into the capital, we'll have to do it undetected. So we'll cut through the forest, find the abandoned mine shaft in the mountain, main and take shift. the tunnel to the other side. That way, they'll never see us coming, huh? Lad, you'll be our vanguard. It'll be a trial by fire, but the sooner you get used to that power, the better. Wait. Hold on. What 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 did you just say? Hold? Anyway. Speaking of, you were talking like you know something about it. Mm, not much. Just what I've picked up from missions in the early days. I've only heard it's a power found in those who walk a righteous path. Sounded like superstition to me, but everything's always clearer on the battlefield. Once I saw it in action, I could tell it was no fable. Never thought it'd come back to haunt me. Despite all my training and research, I never managed to master it myself. Huh. It really is something special, then. Don't forget. One wrong move, and I'll cut you down. I'm aware. I'm watching you. Yes, I get it. Just trust me, all right? Right. Let's check them up. This'll all be for nothing if we get lost. This place. They call it the Nord Mines. That being the case. This road should take us to the Grand Whatever. All right. I need to stop the auto scrolling. The Grand Trad. All right. Can I save here? No. This place here. Oh, hold on. This place here. Mm. Don't let your guard down. Oh, sorry. I was. Um, no, nah, hold on. So, can we just go right oh, to here on. then? Got it. Got it. This place here. Hmm. Don't let your guard down. All right, go to the mines. We shall we shall go through the mines Good. of Moria. The Nord Mines, located northwest of Grand Trad, it is resource rich with magma crystals. Its proximity to the capital simplified crystal excavation, but the Sanctus Church's sudden proclamation of closure stopped work in its tracks. Exiting the forest, the party continues along the wooded road leading to the derelict mine. <sighs> huh? Can I... Hold on. Sorry, uh, sorry. Can I can I back up? Time out. What was that? Uh, the mine's entrance should be just up ahead. Uh, stay off the path. Uh, what's the matter? What happened? I may. 
be just imagining it, but mm. I can't help but feeling we're being watched. No. This deep in the wilderness, though? Uh, couldn't be. Sorry, I'm just on the edge. Don't let your guard down. I'm looking for uh, an opening to escape. Don't forget, I have got my eye on you. Look at that! It's the eagles. They're here. <sighs> that large bird is known as a corvo. Stalks his prey from the sky. It goes in for an ambush. Hmm. So what now? Looks like we need uh, another... Let's do our list of problems. Yeah. No. No, we gotta keep moving. Let me guess, we could move faster if I died back there. And you didn't need uh, to keep an eye on me, right? Let's go. Something like that, yeah. Pushing forward. Okay. Oh, technically I can't save there. All right, cool. Well, chat, this game seems pretty good. Gotta say. What is this story down here? The story thus far? How does this work? Can I, I can just like replay the like cutscenes or what? Hold on. Oh, it's just giving like story recaps. That's cool. And then there's a whole like um, codex in here. But no, this game seems great. I can see why it's getting like nines and tens. And yeah, it's like if you're a fan of previous Atlas games, this one seems to be right up the, uh, the alley for that. The question I have, chat, is do I stream this? I mean, are you guys interested in watching 80 hours of this? I don't know. I mean, we don't have Assassin's Creed now, which would have been an eight, probably an 80 hour playthrough. So we, we've got a gap, technically. I believe this game comes out Friday. My biggest problem is, is I, I almost hate to stream this on the week nights because it'll take us the rest of the year to finish doing it two hours at a time. So yeah, I'll have to think about it. I don't know. Maybe I just play it on my own. Yeah, I don't, I don't know, but yeah, seems uh seems really good, really solid. I I enjoyed the about two hours we had with it tonight, so it's also cool that your progression in this prologue carries over to the, the real game, so could in theory just start right from here. So But yeah, for the rest of the week, everybody, um, as I mentioned, there may or may not be a stream tomorrow. Uh, if there is, we're going to take a look at something else new. We're going to be taking a look at Frostpunk 2. And then I, I can see myself streaming Frostpunk for a couple streams, maybe. Just depends how, you know, how much I get into it. And then, of course, this weekend, be back into Dragon Age. I was thinking today that probably not this weekend, but maybe the following weekend... I start like really early in the day because we got to get Inquisition done, right? It's a very long game. We got to get it done. So I'm thinking of like starting Saturday and Sunday at like 10 a.m. or something like that and trying to stream for a good like seven, eight, nine hours or whatever just to try and get that game closer to being done. So, like I said, we, we, we won't do that this weekend, but maybe the following weekend. So, uh, And then I also did mention that next week, starting Monday, because we are at the 40th anniversary of Transformers, let's play a Transformers game. So I think we're going to play War for Cybertron. So 
So we'll start that playthrough next week. So that should be a lot of fun. Is it is it War for Cybertron or Fall from Cybertron? There's two games, and I can't remember which is which. But either way, it's one of the good Transformers games. So we're going to do that. So yeah, that'll start Monday. So cool stuff. But yeah, I think with that, wh why is there a tooth? What? What? What was that? I have no idea. But yeah, with that, uh, big thanks to everybody who came out. Really do appreciate it. And yeah, we'll see you guys tomorrow, uh, hopefully at 8 p.m. Central for our look at uh, Frostpunk 2. So, hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your